Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the news with some last events in our province, and I will come into details. On November the 29th of 2019, the nearly 200 foreign businesses and investors in the Nen province participated in a conference of dialogue with the leaders of the Nen People's Committee. Mr. Phan Vic Thanh, member of the party Central Committee, Secretary of the Nen Provincial Party Committee, Mr. Phan Vang Tang, Deputy Secretary of Provincial Party Committee and Chairman of Provincial People's Committee, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Permanent Vice Chairman of People, Provincial People's Committee, co-chaired the conference. At the conference, the Provincial People's Committee will announce the social economic situation, the foreign investment attraction situation in the Nen province, information on mechanisms and incentive policies for foreign businesses and investors, creating favorable environment for foreign businesses and investors operating in the area. At the same time, leaders of the Nen province listened to 14 opinions and proposals of business representative leaders, trade associations to remove difficulties as well as obstacles in the production process of businesses, how businesses operate smoothly and effectively in the Nen province. At the dialogue, leaders of the provincial departments of agriculture and rural development, departments of construction and state bank of the Nen province, directly explained to the concern of foreign businesses and investors some of the related contents. At the same time, summarized and proposed the related agencies to consider, resource, and respond in writing after this conference. Mr. Phan Vic Thanh, Secretary of the Nen Provincial Party Committee, informed that the Province Committee, People's Council, and the People's Committee of the Nen Province had got a resolution determining that from 2020 to continue to conduct industrialization and modernization along the direction of prioritizing industrialization, modernized agriculture, and rural areas. Continuing to improve the investment environment, strongly mobilizing resources for development investment. At the same time, he also directed functional departments in the province to enhance dialogues with investors, promptly remove difficulties and congestion of businesses, especially procedures for issuing investment policies and renting a certificate of posting, investment signing, site clearance, and land lease. Continue to implement wealth, the one-door mechanism on investment, and the one-stop shop mechanism in business registration in the coming term. And in the afternoon of November the 28th, the People's Committee of Tenant City announced the planning projects of subdivision number three of typical control residential area of Tenant City at the rate of one per 2,000. Mr. Pham Tum Chan, Chairman of Tenant City People's Committee, chaired the conference. The planning projects of subdivision number three of typical control residential area of Tenant City with the area of 626 hectares, including ward number four, Part of Hibnan and Ninh Thanh Worth with the boundaries of North bordering with Vung Deo Stream in Ninh Thanh Worth and the south of Kat Man Thang Tam Street and Lạc Long Vung Street is located of Bao Nang Khamun, Yuman Chau District and the west of Nguyen Dai Street and April the 30th Street. The joint plan of joint number 3 is the current central area of the city, approved to reorganize based architecture, urban landscape and system of technical infrastructure works, social infrastructure works and housing suitable for social economic development, ensuring national defense and security, sustainable economic development, building tenant city to become a second class city with the eco 2 city model of ecology and sustainable economy, in accordance with adjustment plan of the general construction of the Nen Tau until 2020 and vision to 2050. Planning scheme is also a legal basis to carry out construction investment and management according to planning, creating conditions for synchronous matching and social technical infrastructure systems, contributing to creating a common image for the whole city, as well as creating an attractive and stable investment environment. Mr. Pham Tung Chan, Chairman of Tenant City People's Committee, asked the specialized agency to publish and publicize approved joining number three scheme on mass media and via social networks. At the same time, he suggests words and commands to intensify propaganda so that the people can grasp the information of the planning scheme. And in 2019, Bengal District achieved about 15 over 18 targets. The whole district reached about 133 over 152 criteria for building new style rural area, accounting for more than 87%. The district has also maintained the four new rural communes of Long Khánh, Long Phước, Long Thuận, and Long Chữ communes. Particularly, Lê Thuận commune basically reached about 19 criteria in preparing a document to submit to provincial departments and agencies to appraise and recognize a new rural standards in 2019. 
The district also built and repaired about 14 vegetative houses for policy families, about 17 solidarity houses for the poor. The district also achieved about 100% of the plan to call citizens into the army at both levels, the security order situation. The security and social order is maintained stably. Mr. Vung Quoc Thuy, Secretary of Bengal District Party Committee, requests to strengthen the inspection of budgets and spend each in the district. Grassroots Party Organization to organize the elaboration of documents and personnel to prepare for party conferences at all levels in the district. Meanwhile, in 2019, the production value of economic sectors of Chao Thanh District increased over the same period, in which the production value of agriculture, forestry, and fishery is estimated at about 4,290 billion Vietnam dong, up to 0.94%. The industrial and construction production value was estimated at about 4,750 billion Vietnam dong, and up to 12.7%. Value of commerce, services, and accommodation was estimated at about 1,500 billion Vietnam dong and up to 10%. Estimated total state budget revenue in the district is over 158 billion Vietnam dong, reaching about 140%. The work of building and regulating the party continued to be strengthened, building a clean and strong political system, improving the operational efficiencies of federal fronts at all levels, and the social political organizations. Ms. C. Nguyễn Thị Thu Hiền, Secretary of Châu Thành District Party Committee, asked the communes and towns to pay attention to development of party members, prepare for the grassroots party contracts at all level, focus on reviewing the targets to complete the task in 2019. And ladies and gentlemen, the General Statistics Office on the 29th of November announced that the export turnover of processed industrial products in the Nen province in October of 2019 reached about 303 million US dollars, up to 3.7% from the same period last year, and accounted for a proportion up to more than 93% of the total export turnover. Accumulating in the first 10 months of this year, the export turnover of this commodity reached about 2,826 million US dollars, an increase of 0.9% over the same period. Meanwhile, Vietnam posted total export revenues of about 241.4 billion US dollars and a total import revenues of about 232.3 billion US dollars in the first 11 months of this year. A total import revenues of 232.3 billion US dollars in the first 11 months of this year, resulting in a trade surplus of about 9.1 billion US dollars. The export revenue in 11 months increased by 7.8% year on year, while the import revenues is went up by 7.4% year on year. In the January November period, China remained the Vietnam's largest import market, with the import revenues of about 68.7 billion US dollars up to 15.2% against the same period last year. It was followed by Republic of Korea, ASEAN, and Japan. And ladies and gentlemen, in the general situation of the slow recovery of the world economy and in the country, besides the price in the market for agricultural commodities are still facing difficulties, but with the efforts of the whole provincial political system and the concerns of the state, particularly the investment projects from the industrial zones, the social economic situation of the Tanan province has been positively transformed, reaching a high growth rate. And ladies and gentlemen, the resolution of the 10 provincial party conference of Tanan province of term of 2015 to 2020 is considered to have a new mindset towards rapid and sustainable development in the coming time. According to the action program for implementation of the resolution, the province focuses on carrying out five groups of solutions to social economic development, including infrastructure development breakthroughs, agricultural development breakthroughs, human resources breakthroughs, tourism breakthroughs, and information technology breakthroughs. Carrying out the resolution of the 10 provincial party countries to accelerate rapid and disruptive social economic development of the province. The Nen Provincial Party Committee set up a steering committee responsible for executing groundbreaking solutions, chaired by the Secretary of Provincial Party Committee and assisted by the Deputy Secretary of Provincial Party Committee. In order to realize objectives and tasks of the Standing Committee of Provincial Party Committee, the Provincial People's Committee launched five working groups to create breakthroughs in the following areas infrastructure, particularly transport infrastructure, organic and high tech agricultural development, human resources, tourism, and IT. 
Vice Chairperson to the Provincial People's Committee work as a leader of its troops and key departments and branches leaders and members. During the operation, the steering committee and working groups have worked hard in the highest determination and responsibility and showed their strenuous sensitivity and sharpness in work, advised party committees and authorities to lead, direct and manage the implementation of political tasks, especially advising and directing some economic development in all fields. As for infrastructure breakthrough, after assessing the current state of infrastructure and local development needs, the working group advised Provincial Party Committee and Provincial People's Committee to draft and promulgate infrastructure development plan, especially creating breakthroughs in transport infrastructure in the period of 2017 to 2020 period. As for infrastructure breakthroughs, after assessing the current state and infrastructure and local development needs, working groups advised Provincial Party Committee and the Provincial People's Committee to wrap and propagate infrastructure development plan, especially creating breakthroughs in transport infrastructure in the 2017 to 2020 period, with a vision to 2025, focusing on key projects. Accordingly, the province proposed central authorities to add Prime Minister for adding Ho Chi Minh City Mobile Highway and Goyo Samat Highway projects to the government's medium-term investment plan. To make agricultural development breakthroughs, the Provincial People's Committee also promulgates a plan for clean agricultural and high-tech agricultural development in 2017 to 2020 with a 9 to 2025, and cooperating with Vietnam Institute of Organic and Agricultural Research and some enterprises to pilot clean agricultural development model. And to have stable output markets for agricultural products, then it called for two agricultural processing projects, 30 Food Company and Nutrivision Company, while issuing a number of agricultural preference policies, with pilot models, agricultural investment projects and preferential policies, then an agriculture will grow fast, strongly and stably in the future. The attracting of foreign investors continue to span significant achievements and progress of disbursement of cooperative investment faster, contributing significantly to promote industrial development and economic growth. According to the Department of Planning and Investment, in the period of 2015 to 2020, the attracting of foreign investment increased more than three times compared with 2010 and 2015. In particular, in the same time, the NIN has attracted a number of projects with large-scale investments. These projects have financial progress very rapidly, contributing to economic development and local society. Then it will strive to fulfill its goal to becoming an industrial province with a period from now to 2020. The province will focus on directing agriculture development towards clean agriculture and organic agriculture and increasing value chain in agricultural production. Along with high-tech agriculture, then it is concentrating on developing trade, service and tourism commensurate with its potential available advantages and making tourism an important economic sector. Up to now, attracting investment capital is nearly about 6,600 million US dollars and nearly 80% of the plan. And according to relevant functional departments to the end of 2020, the Nen province will have been achieved the five year plan targets. And that's all for today's news. Thank you for joining us and see you more next time.